This South African actress has tackled a wide variety of roles, but Damsel in Distress isn't one she has much experience with. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the Top 10 Badass Charlize Theron Moments. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on the most killer moments from Charlize Theron's acclaimed career. It's zombie time. Number 10, John versus Mary, Hancock. You and I. You and I want. We're the same. No. In this chaotic sequence, Theron's character Mary Embry explains a few basic facts to fellow superpowered being John Hancock. But when it becomes clear that she's not telling him the whole truth, John Hancock forces her hand, or at least attempts to. Instead, his mocking tone unleashes her full wrath. Call me crazy one more time. Cuckoo. Mary wreaks havoc on Hollywood Boulevard, smashes Hancock with a big rig, and conjures up a tornado. Of course, it's supported by the narrative subtext, as Mary's aggressive behavior ultimately stems from complex matters of the heart. Charlize Theron perfectly conveys her character's inner volatility, which, paired with her superhero gifts, makes for a truly memorable moment. Oh, listen Get to off me! me. Listen to me. I, hate you. I am sorry! <laughs> Number 9 Naming Ceremony Fight young adult. Are you, are you okay? I'll be fine if I can get a real drink around here. As a struggling writer in her late 30s, Mavis Gary brings undeniably heavy baggage with her when she returns to her Minnesota roots. She's dwelling on the past and fixated on a life that never materialized. In this climactic scene, Charlize Theron's impressive acting chops are put on full display as she expresses the full weight of Mavis's sorrow and regret. We were gonna have a little baby, and a little naming party, and a fun aquarium, and all of that. And then 12 weeks into it, well, I had Buddy's miscarriage. It's a poignant moment that puts the character's erratic behavior in perspective, allowing viewers to at least partially sympathize with Mavis. That's enough, Mavis. You're drunk. Oh, I've been drunk since I've been back, Mom, and nobody gave two shits until this one got all bent out of shape. This epic meltdown is both emotionally affecting and badass, as Theron locks, loads, and then opens fire with this dramatic interpretation of personal anguish. What is wrong with you people? Number 8. Snow White vs. Ravenna Snow White and the Huntsman. You see, we're not that different, are we? As Queen Ravenna, Charlize Theron brings immense stoicism to her vengeful character in this Grimm Brothers adaptation. She's also got what it takes to back up her verbal bravado, as evidenced by the physicality of her sadistic confrontation with Snow White. You cannot defeat me! As the drama unfolds, Theron transforms into a fiery demon hurling insults at her stepdaughter before reaching her fateful moment of understanding. Oh, my blood it is done! Theron taps into a variety of intense emotions throughout, showcasing her versatility along with her classic beauty. It's an unforgettable moment within the fantasy genre, which connected Theron to new audiences. You can't have my heart. Number 7. Job Interview – Monster You have no experience, no college degree, no resume, no work history whatsoever, in fact, and now you would like to be a lawyer. In Patty Jenkins' biopic about serial killer Eileen Warnos, Charlize Theron delivers an Academy Award-winning performance. There are numerous notable moments throughout, some heartbreaking and some downright disturbing. But the job interview confrontation speaks volumes about the character's unpredictable personality. When the beach party is over, you don't get to say, you know what, I think now I'd like to have what everybody else has worked their entire life for. It doesn't work that way. Almost unrecognizable, Theron gets nasty, as Warnos is not only rejected by her male interviewer, but also chastised for her lack of experience. F you, man. Yeah, fuck you. You don't fucking know me. In a matter of seconds, Theron communicates a roller coaster of emotions, feelings that ultimately converge with rage. It's difficult to watch, but it's a classic example of Theron's killer range. What, you think I'm a fucking retard? Take your fucking job and fucking shove it. Number six, before the adventure, Prometheus. Doctors, Miss Vickers would like to have a quick word before the adventure begins. 
taking place in the universe of the iconic Alien franchise. Ridley Scott's science fiction flick targeted a world of rabid fans. And Charlize Theron doesn't disappoint with her performance as Meredith Vickers, a suspicious Wayland Corporation character that speaks with confidence and brevity. I think there might be some confusion about our relationship. Before Elizabeth Shaw and Charlie Holloway embark on a mission to find humanity's forerunners, the power dynamics are set by Vickers, as she establishes boundaries and rules, all the while smiling like she knows something they don't. And so, with her subtle mannerisms and badass demeanor, Theron foreshadows future events and makes it clear that her character is not one to be messed with. You won't engage them. You won't talk to them. You will do nothing but report back to me. Number five, that's a dollar bill. A million ways to die in the West. You wanna make this interesting? As a woman living in the old West, Anna Barnes Leatherwood isn't initially given much respect, but she very quickly earns it. Portrayed with sly confidence by Charlize Theron, Anna outguns the males around her, and she does so with style. Come on, you owe him a dollar. Given the comedic nature of the narrative, Charlize keeps it light with her confident banter, but her character's impeccable gun skills speak volumes. A badass moment like this highlights Charlize's dynamic screen presence and charisma, blending a touch of Old West swagger with her undeniable charm as a performer. Take your hat off, boy, that's a dollar bill! Number four, fight with Max. Mad Max, Fury Road. In George Miller's modern dystopian classic, Charlize Theron pulls out all the stops as Furiosa. In fact, she's so powerful that many have called her the true hero of the story. Either way, this initial confrontation with Max establishes her as a force to be reckoned with. Visually speaking, with her buzz cut and piercing eyes, she's an arresting character. But it's Furiosa's fearlessness that makes her a truly iconic one. Complemented by the pounding score and crisp editing, one-armed Furiosa never lets up, inspiring through her resilience. This particular action sequence offers a powerful statement about Furiosa's personal character, a character few could have pulled off like Theron. Glory me, Bloodbag. We snagged her alive. Number three, getaway driving, the Italian job. Portraying a vault technician, Charlize Theron literally navigates through Hollywood in this clever heist flick. As Stella Bridger, she's part of the crew and lends her driving talents for a chase through the Hollywood and Highland Metro. As if that's not badass enough, she gets even more ambitious after securing the loot, driving a Mini Cooper through the Los Angeles River drain tunnels. For these moments, it's the stakes and execution that make Charlize so badass, as her character plays a crucial role. Furthermore, Charlize the actress seems to be truly enjoying the ride, suggesting that she's in her element with this type of role. Number two, pose and shoot, Aeon Flux. Flux is headed to the courtyard. In the climactic scene of this 2005 sci-fi production, Charlize Theron's titular warrior hero and rebel is the very essence of badassery, exuding not only power, but grace as well. Despite being surrounded and seriously outgunned, Aeon Flux manages to work her way through her adversaries, taking them down one by one. Furthermore, she does it all, whether it's hand-to-hand -hand combat or long-range shooting, with an unflinching confidence and an undeniable sense of style. With all due respect to the spectacular grass sequence, this climactic battle is arguably Theron's most iconic badass moment of the decade. Number one, remember me, Mad Max Fury Road. What can we say? Charlize Theron's performance in this film was simply inspired. She thoroughly owns each and every scene, while Furiosa's look has become iconic, it's her actions that give the character substance. And in the final confrontation of the film, this particular act of violent resistance, paired with her simple but evocative question, makes for a truly chill-inducing moment of triumph. Remember me? She's battered, bloody, and bruised, but utterly committed to her goal. Destroying the evil Immortan Joe and freeing the women from his tyranny. Charlize Theron is known for generally killing it in any given role, 
but in this unforgettable moment, she is the epitome of badass. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.